gosh, I forgot to put this in my candy station. This was a zero cost because this, one of my friends gave it to me last year. Is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I just loved it. I'm going to give you a little quick look at how it's made. It's just a clear jar with a lid all at once. And they just put all this beautiful fabric around it to make it look like a snowman. Here you can see that the lid, just a screw on lid, nothing to it, just an inexpensive little plastic lid that matched, went with this jar. Such a cute, clever idea. Easily screws on and off. Anyone could make one of those things. I think even Grandma could. Just make sure when you do the lid and you put the snowman's face on top, that you have it positioned in the right place when you put it back on. That would be the only thing it might be, be a little careful about. Everything else looks super simple. The little legs look easy enough to attach. Everything was great and easy. I forgot to put it in my original candy station. And the bad thing is, I had to re add this little extra. Well, you know, Grandma had this all ready to go when she was going to do her candy station originally. I just had it off to one side and forgot it was over there. So, this has just been added on after I did my candy video because it deserves to be front and center. It is as cute as can be. Zero cost. This was a gift from one of my friends. That is the awesome thing about me and my friends. They're always giving me awesome little pieces to help me with the cost of my YouTube channel. And here's another awesome piece that I got last year for free. It was a gift. Okay, now on with the video I made for the candy station. Thought I should at least show you a little snip of this video of what it looked set up for the holiday season on my kitchen table. This is how it's going to look from now on. I just wanted to share it with you. Thought it turned out so pretty and I was so pleased with how it turned out. I hope you agree, my awesome friend. This is Grandma's house for the Christmas holiday. I'm sure if I'm lucky enough to have a great grandchild to come over, I'm sure they are going to be so excited to see all these awesome treats. Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Look what time it is, Christmas time. And here is Grandma's giant candy station. Doesn't it look yummy? Mm -mm -mm. I love all the yummy candy that we picked up. Now let's move in and see what we have. Beautiful candy suckers. Don't they look beautiful for the holiday season? This is basically all red, white, and green. And a few accent colors. And then we have our little chocolate candies in here. And some more candy ones here. And of course, we have to have our candy cane. assortment of different candies all sprinkled around the table. Now these look like candy, these beautiful candy trees, but believe it or not, they're ornaments. And when I saw them, I knew I had to have them for my candy station. They even feel and touch like candy, but they're not. So we're repurposing it for my candy station for Christmas. Thought it turned out pretty nice. And then of course we have some more chocolate and candy over here. And of course, one of our favorites, m &Ms. And here's some more chocolate and hard candies to suck on. Thought it turned out pretty nice. 
what do you think? Most of this I already had. Believe it or not, the only th expense I had in here. Oh, let's look and see. We have these icicles, not icicles, snowflakes, that these big ones are new. The little ones are from last year, and I'm repurposing them for this year. So they're new, so that was $1. I spent $5 for some Christmas bulbs that are sprinkled all about. And I think I spent, I think, two not dollar ninety nine for each of the trees. So that's two, six, seven, seven, eleven. So I have the four these guys right here and I got them a dollar tree, so they were a dollar. So this was uh, under twelve dollars everything. Because we're not counting the candy because that's something we're going to eat. Uh, all the flowers are old. There's nothing new here on the flowers. And the containers that all the candy is in are none of it's new except for this uh, wicker basket that I got. That's how we got it up to $12 for this candy station. So I think we did a pretty good job for a $12 investment. But keep in mind, a lot of the pieces that you see I already had from last year, uh, and I've already used in prior posts. So there's not really too many things new. One of the big expenses probably would have been that flower arrangement, but because nothing in there was new, I had to tear apart another flower arrangement to get enough in here. I kept working at it and working at it, it just wasn't popping. But now it looks great. So sometimes the sad news is, you have to take things apart to reuse. So this is my 2020 Christmas station this year. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed putting it together for you. It was a lot of work, but it turned out so beautiful. And I'm going to leave this on this table for the whole holiday season. So if anyone happens to drop by, They'll have some yummy candy to eat. I'm going to change out the tablecloth though because that's one of my best ones. Don't want anything sticky on it or chocolate staining it. And because it's white, that would even make it more devastating. But everything else you see, I'm going to leave. It'll leave you a little tighter in there for there's a little more room on the table to eat. But basically, most of this is going to stay the same. Well, I hope you enjoyed this year 2020 Candy Station. Please let me know what was your favorite thing on this candy station. Was it the floral arrangement or my beautiful candlesticks? Still haven't found my candles, guys. Boy, when I get to my tablescapes, I'm going to be in bad shape if I don't end up buying some more. Can't believe I misplaced them. Oh, well. You know, things happen like this sometimes. And then, of course, I just love this candy so much that I found and put together. Looks like it's out of a candy store, doesn't it? And, of course, I loved all the beautiful icicles I got. Well, I need to stop talking. I'll just talk, talk, talk. Hugs and kisses to all my awesome friends and family. Stay tuned for the slideshow that comes after the video. I want you to get a great up and personal look at all the beautiful decor that Grandma put together today. For you and you and you. You all mean the world to Grandma. Thank you for stopping by.